What we're doing is releasing spotted sea trout as part of our stock enhancement program here in Mississippi. Uh, these fish were raised uh, to about 30 days old or about two inches and now we're releasing them into the estuary where the brood stock were caught from. This is a project that's been funded and cooperated between the Mississippi Department of Marine Resources and the Gulf Coast Research Lab since about 2006. Since then we've released some 1.5 million sea trout in the coastal waterways. This is just a kind of a boost to mother nature. You know we've had a really rough year with the opening of the Bonacary Spillway. A lot of fresh water displaced the fish in the area and so this is just kind of a way to help mother nature get a jump start, right? Um, put some fish out there that will hopefully grow up to continue to populate um, our spotted sea trout populations. We know for a fact that most of the fish didn't spawn in here, so there were no juveniles in here throughout most of the summer. But now that we've had a closure, uh, we wanted to start over here first as the salinity is getting up. And we're trying to do as many as we can before the fall is over and the temperatures get too low. What we had to do this year on any of our releases, whether it was aquaculture for oyster restoration or for spotted sea trout, it just meant that we couldn't put fish or oysters in the water until the salinity and dissolved oxygen you know, reached um, adequate levels for us to be able to help with that restoration. So basically we lost several months of restoration efforts that we would be able to um, help with. This is one thing we know we can do and uh, we hope we have some impact. Uh, hopefully in the years to come when our numbers are much higher and we could release a lot more, we're confident we're having some type of impact.